are you guys moving? Can't do that every night, but it's kind of addicting, so. <laughs> I didn't expect this to come so fast. Everyone. welcome to this vlog it was just like a slow mental breakdown couple of days but we're back it's sunny so I figured I'd pick up the vlog here this was going to be a vlog all about redoing this catastrophe of an office which has literally been in shambles probably since the day that I finished doing my original makeover I really need to strategize better and utilize my space in the most efficient manner so I have a couple of new things coming in but unfortunately I don't think they'll arrive this week so this is kind of like a glimpse into what you guys will be seeing I was up on clubhouse like really late last night and can't do that every night but it's kind of addicting so maybe I'll get into that a little bit later and talk to you guys about my new addiction my new favorite app apparently because something has replaced TikTok and you know what it's probably a better thing anyways thought I'd catch you guys up but welcome to the vlog gonna be a good one <laughs> I'm so tired I the energy levels can only go up Struggling. This is like my high school acne coming back to bite me. This far away from my butt, you guys. Let's see if hair salons can open before we grow that much more. Based on the condition of this room right here, I could see how you might think, Sarah. Are you guys moving? And the answer to that is unfortunately no. I mean, I wish I was like packing up for a move right now and that was the excuse for my room being a catastrophe. Very grateful for what we have here. We don't want to lose it. So we're just going to make the most of it. And I've ordered a ton of bins, a ton of like storage stuff, hence why it does kind of look like we're moving in here. And my goal is to maximize the space for working for starting up thrifted this the website i'm going to be doing bundles really soon which is exciting if you guys follow me on instagram you probably already heard me give you guys a little sneak peek over there so i'd love to like start a podcast maybe this year daniel got the podcast mix just cleaning up the space so it's like fresh has good storage need to optimize the closet which is a literal disaster so scary but yeah just gonna try and keep it clean and like good good storage options so Maybe I'll give you guys a little haul of what I got. I just realized I probably shouldn't bring anything else up into this room until I clean it. But one thing that I did get that I'm so excited are these little cherry boxes, which were, I think like $2 off of Michael's. I'll share with you guys this little drink, Beverageino, non-alcoholic <laughs> version that I found at Loblaws, which is, I don't know what you would equate it to. Maybe like a Publix of the US? I don't know. Anyways, it's like one of our main grocery stores. And these are sparkling waters, so they're zero calories, but they're meant to taste like actual soda. So instead of being like your typical lime, lemon, grapefruit stuff that we're all sick and tired of, these are cream soda. You guys, these are just fresh. Like in the summer, I can't, like I'm gonna be injecting these into my body in the summer because they're so good. Like usually I want more hot drinks, obviously in the winter, but these are nice just to like have in the afternoon. A little pick me up. As long as you're connecting with your audience, it's not gonna matter what you. Okay, my sister just sent me the cutest jacket that we're gonna curbside pick up for her. But in the meantime, let's look at what you see the people. Oh my gosh, this is such a cool package. <gasps> I love the branding. Okay, so this is their 15% vitamin C plus clean caffeine energy. I love how their product packaging is so simplistic it just all looks super clean and like good for you which is the key honestly so this is a morning thing i see darn i was excited to use this tonight but i guess we shall try this out tomorrow so thank you big 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 thank you to, to the people i'm stoked <laughs> Everyone, 
cheese bears in the house. Give it up for cheese bear. Like here. I've been trying to find one of those for a while now. I know. But it realistically, like you don't want a dirty looking no, jacket. No. Especially right now. We're gonna go to this little wine shop. Sadly, they don't open until 3.30, so I saw this other place on Instagram. It's called and it's a little cafe, but they also have a little wine shop inside, which is so cute. I love how all these bars, well, I mean, I don't love it because like obviously so much shit has closed down, but a lot of bars have like repurposed into little like liquor pickup stores, which is really cool. And they just have such a more interesting variety than going to the liquor store itself. So let's try the coffee. Interesting flavor. It's almost kind of like caramelly. They were very nice in yeah. there. I'm listening to right now. They're literally talking about how you shouldn't buy Gucci and be flashy with it. But Sophia Amoroso is in this chat, and I think she would beg to disagree that if it's vintage and you bought it for $250, it's fine. Wow, wow, wow. I didn't expect this to come so fast. Oh, guys, we're doing this. We're doing this. So if you follow me on Instagram, you know that I saw this bag on the real world and it's the Jackie Gucci bag. Anyways, I found it on the real world for like 450 US dollars. That would've been like 600 Canadian plus all the duties and stuff. And then I went into Poshmark, which is my newfound love, $250. I actually negotiated down to 200 Canadian dollars. Saturday of sitting on this couch editing, but I just finished the vlog where I mentioned dry January and guess what guys? So I realized I didn't really wrap up my thoughts or explain to you guys what Clubhouse is and that's because honestly I'm still very confused safe to say that the app is like definitely just getting its start and I think that it's kind of in beta still. It's invite only so there's only like so many users on it which I mean there's quite a few. There's some things that don't make sense to me at all but if you guys are on it definitely add me. My goal is to start conversation around like thrifting and stuff like that. There's clubs but I have no idea how you start a club so if you can let me know down below that would be great. I'm definitely a noob over here but what I've learned so far is that it can be great for getting insight from professionals that you might not be able to get in touch with any other way because like LinkedIn is so technical and not the most direct form of conversation. Meeting up in person with people right now is obviously very difficult and chances of these people sending you their phone number to have a chat is pretty slim to none. I haven't spoken yet in any of these big scary panels but some of them are really good just to listen to. My take on it is kind of like listening to a live podcast where you could have the option of getting to interact with those people that are like the panelists, the moderators, whatever you want to call them. But I will say I don't know who to follow. Like I followed Alicia Marie and Lord DIY because they were two of the only female YouTubers that I saw on there and I truly do look up to them business-wise from a YouTube 
perspective i think they've done a really good job with their channels and like navigating everything in the business world as like a woman and an entrepreneur and being a youtuber that was kind of cool to hear them talk it was very transparent it was very much like a a new layer of them was being revealed i tend to sneak in the rooms that sofia amoroso is into because i truly admire her and you know people that she's connected with i figure i'll probably click with but besides that i have not found too much so i think we need to boost the woman presence on clubhouse so definitely try and get an invite let me know if you want an invite because i think i still have like five left or something like that but hopefully it'll become open to everyone soon because i think that's kind of like a a weird system i think it would just be fun to be able to chat with you guys about building business and thrifting and that kind of stuff and like hear your real input and have these raw conversations i'm learning so any recommendations below would be appreciated but just thought i'd come in here and see that and i will see you guys for the next vlog don't forget to give this one a thumbs up follow me on clubhouse follow me on instagram all that kind of stuff and i will see you in the next one